Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Filmora 13.3 and I've got something very cool to show you. I am gonna show you how to create amazing composite videos just like this using AI functionality built into Filmora 13. The first step is we're gonna get some green screen footage and then we're gonna use their AI chroma key functionality to pull out the green and just leave the subject. After that, we're going to create a background using their AI image and AI art generator. In this case, I've got a cyberpunk background, but you can, of course, create a background to your choosing. After that, we're going to create the music to go with the video. They have an AI audio or an AI music generator inside Filmora, and I'm going to show you all the different ways you can create background music to go with it. And then finally, I'm going to show you a little bit of color correction so that you can make sure that the video, the green screen footage, the or the subject, matches the background, so to speak. So there's just a couple of steps here, guys. I'm going to show them all to you step by step. Let's go. All right, excellent. So the first step is we're going to work with the green screen footage. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. You can add in your own footage, which I'll do right here. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click on Finder, and then I'm going to open up my Filmora 13 folder. I'm just going to grab this green screen footage and drag it and drop it right into Project Media. It's going to ask me, and it did ask me, if I want to create a proxy file. I do not want that because I have a very fast computer, so uh, I can work with uh, high def resolution pretty quickly here. But if you've got a slower computer, consider using a proxy. Now, if you don't have any green screen footage, very simple. All you got to do here is go up to Stock Media, and they've got green screen footage ready to go right here. So under Trending already... You can see that I've got this green screened explosion here. I've got this uh, curtains opening up. Like there's a whole bunch of different green screen stuff that you can select right out of the box, right out of the, right from Filmora. Now I happen to know that I like this one here. It's called Cat Robot. And I'm going to type that in here and check this out. They've got a green screened Cat Robot. So let's go ahead and use this one. I'm going to drag and drop this into the timeline and then presto, it's going to add it. That's step one. Now we're going to chroma key it. All right, so to remove the green color cast or the green green screen, <laughs> that's a lot of greens, super easy to do in Filmora. All you got to do is go up here to the top right under video and then switch it from basic to AI tools. Once you do that, you're going to see the chroma key toggle. Now, 99 out of 100 times, all you need to do is just click this button and the background is gone. If it is not perfectly gone, it's not to worry about right now because I'm going to show you how to fine tune it once we get a background AI image in there and we can go into the next step. So right now, the green screen's gone. Let's create a background image. Okay, the next step is to just grab the footage in the timeline, just click on it, left click on it, and then push it up so that it's in video track two. The reason we're doing this very quickly is because we're putting in background AI generated image in behind it. So you have to have the green screen on the top track and then the image in behind it. Once you've done that, I'm now gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and click on stock media and under stock media, you'll see a whole bunch of options. The one that we want is AI image. Click on that little triangle, and then you're going to see one that says tool. This is what we want because this is where we generate the AI images. So I'm going to go ahead and now click on start. And when I do that, you're going to see it's going to load up the AI image beta. Now, very quickly here, there are three aspect ratios right out of the box that you can use. I'm going to use 16 by 9 because this is a widescreen. But if you were doing YouTube shorts, you would want to go with 916. Now I'm going to describe the image that I want to create. So I, uh, this is a, we're going to do a cyberpunk. Cyberpunk dystopia with buildings and, um, I don't know, people in the background. Something like that. Very simple. It, it doesn't really, really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and create that image. Before I do that, though, you'll notice that we have some default image styles. Keep in mind, you can always describe exactly what you want, but these image styles here are kind of nice because if you know you're looking for something like I'm looking for cyberpunk, it's really just one click here and it's going to automatically give the cyberpunk objectives or adjectives, so to speak. So there we go. I'm going to now go ahead and click on start creating. I'll come back when it's done, show you the candidates, and then we'll input it in and then we'll get to the next step. All right, welcome back. So it has gone ahead and created four candidate images for me. So let's just click on them real quickly here. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. So which one? Okay, I like this one here because I think we can sneak our little cat robot in here and we'll color correct it to make it look like it belongs in the scene. So this is proper looking cyberpunk AI image generation. Looks great. I'm going to go ahead and click on this little down arrow because it's very important. 
this is going to go ahead and load it into my stock AI generated folder. I'm going to click out of this now. Okay, I'm going to close all this. I don't need to go through that. And now look here, you'll see here, I'm going to show it to you under library. Well, pardon me, we're going to go an AI image generated. Here it is right here, AIGC Cyberpunk Dystopia. I'm going to click on that image, and then I'm just going to drag it right underneath the cat robot. And look at that, our cat robot is now in the scene. Of course, it's not properly scaled and colored yet, but you'll see where we're going with this. Finally, I'm going to grab this image here, and I'm just going to pull on the handle a little bit so that they're both the same size. All right, let's get to the next step. All right, so that took just a few seconds here, and it has gone ahead and created six songs, just like it said it would. So here they are. You'll see it, said, it says right here, generated six of six results. Let's listen to the first one. All right, pretty cool. It's kind of low beat orchestral. Let's go down and listen to the next one. Okay. All right, so I really like that one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download. Of course, if this was a, you know, my own project and it wasn't a tutorial, I would probably listen to all of the rest of them. But again, I know that one's really, really good. So again, I hit the download button and now it's been added to the project. Now, let's go ahead and close out of that just like I did here. And let's just go ahead and put that track in. Let me show you how. All right, adding in the track is a piece of cake. I'm going to go from the tool. I'm going to click on music. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on, where is it? AI Music Generated. That's the one. And there you go. The top one here is Epic Cinematic. Let's listen to it again. Perfect. That's the one I wanted. I'm just going to left click on that and I'm going to drag that onto the audio track just like that. Now, I want to note here that the audio may be a little bit loud if you're doing a cinematic type scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pull down the audio a little bit here. So I'm going to click on the audio track. I'm going to go up here to the top, and then you'll see here under adjustment that I could just pull this volume knob down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do that just because I want this to be a more subtle and muted sound as opposed to in your face. Presto. Finally, I'm going to grab the right edge of this track here, and I'm just going to pull it in so they're all the same length. Now, if we hit play, let's take a listen and see what we got. All right, this could be all you need to do. We've got our robot in a dystopian scene. All of this is AI image generated green keyed. If you want to color correct, I'm going to show you how to do that in about 30 seconds. Let's go. All right, last but not least is the color correction. And we're just going to scale the robot down a little bit so it looks like it belongs more in the uh, video here. So the first step, I'm going to click on the green screen footage or the robot footage. And then under basic, you'll see transform. These are linked together at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the scale. If I decrease the X, it also decreases the Y. So it, width and height both scale proportionally. If you do not want that, just click on this lock button and it will go ahead and you can adjust height and width independently. In this case, I don't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe make something like that. What do you think? Let's make him a little smaller or her a little smaller because it's a subtle thing here. We're going to put them right about here. So there we go. That's the decrease in size. Now let's fix up the colors a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make it sure I'm still on the same track. I'm going to go up here to the top and then video audio color. And then all you need to do is just make sure that this color tab is turned on. And then look here, you'll see tinting, vibrant, saturation, all these tools. I know that this is cyberpunk and it all goes towards the purplish and pinkish and light blue teal temperature. So I'm going to just go ahead and tint it a little here. So you'll see here I'm turning up the tint and already you can see what's happening. The robot is turning nice and purplish. And then I'm going to pull the tint or the temperature down to get it a little bit cool here. So we've got purple in the robot and we've got some cool blues in the hands, which matches the color so far. I'm going to go ahead and turn the vibrance up a little bit. I'll saturate it a little more. And again, you can do this as you see fit. If you want it to be more in the shot and you can increase the exposure if you want it to be a little subtler. Like, for example, you just want them sort of hanging out there, but not really being the center of attention. You can pull the exposure down. Things like this, just adjust this as you see fit. I like to increase the contrast so that there's a nice contrast. And then presto, this little robot here has some of the purplish and the bluish reflection on him. And because it's made of metal, it, you would expect it to be, um, you know, the light would be kind of reflecting on him. So something like that. And then just adjust this as you see fit, shadows, etc. And presto, there you go. We've gone ahead and added in. Through AI, we've got green screen footage. We've kind of pulled out the green screen. We've got an AI image generated background. We've got AI 
audio included. We've color corrected it. This is how you make a amazing composite video inside Filmora 13 using your AI tools. Thanks for watching.